legends it's your boy link and we are on our way to liverpool well we're sat in a service station um in ipswich still but i am on my way to liverpool i'm going to my first ever liverpool home game sat in the liverpool end i have sat in the away fans for other teams where i've got friends with like west ham tickets and stuff but i've never sat in anfield in the home fans so it's a very exciting weekend vlog this. I'm going to go to Liverpool for a whole weekend. And it's also the Community Shield later today, which I'm not going to. Um, so I'll hopefully find somewhere to watch that. And hopefully Liverpool win. But yeah, tomorrow, but in this vlog, I'll get to go see Liverpool and I'm super excited. It's this little new service station in Ipswich. It's quite weird. Now I've got snacks. It's back on the road to Liverpool. So we hit some roadworks already. Not great, so it's slowed down. Also, never seen one of them before. Nissan Rogue looks like an import, but it's pretty cool. It's a bit different. I'm trying to pull in the Cambridge services, but it's super busy. Um, we're not really desperate for anything, we're just a bit bored, so might as well go and see what happens. Look how busy it is. That is ridiculous. People outside, it's madness. Honestly, it wasn't even funny how busy it was in there. I hated that. Um, ended up not getting hot food just because of how busy it was. We were going to go to this pizza place, but it was just so hot and so busy. So I got a Morrison's, not Morrison's, Marks and Spencer's best ever sausage roll, which I think are the best sausage rolls they do. Um, then I got some Percy Pig Party Time, which is the rainbow colour ones. I like them more than just the pink ones, they seem more fun. And then there's also some 30th anniversary Percy Pig. And then we got this weird Spanish crisp chorizo, which is like chorizo turned into a crisp it's obviously like dried out or something let's give it a go so it's like a right dried out bit of chorizo that's all right not the best i always get some chocolate cornflake cakes i was going to say but they're called mini bites they come in these little bucket over there So we are half an hour away from the greatest city on the earth, undisputed as well. I, I always get this weird kind of happiness in Liverpool just because I love the place. Like, I honestly don't think I'm happier anywhere than when I'm in Liverpool. I just, ever since I was a kid, I've loved it. And we've been listening to the Beatles for like the last half hour just to really get us in the mood. We had Jamie Webster on earlier. Um, so yeah, we're getting all the Mersey beats out and just living the dream. So yeah, we're about half hour away from the, the Premier Inn, which will get us there at like quarter to five. Liverpool kick off at five. So it um, might be quite a swift sort of check-in to then go and find a TV to watch Liverpool in the Community Shield. Um, I'm not going to that game, just to be clear again, I'm going to the game tomorrow, which is at Anfield. So Liverpool play the Community Shield in Leicester today, then they play against Strasbourg. At a friendly at Anfield tomorrow so yeah I'll be watching that game in the stadium but yeah I'll probably be watching Liverpool either in the bar at the hotel or in the room because it is actually on ITV so I could just watch it in the premium room I don't know we'll see how it vibes when I get there but I'm super excited and like it's also weird because I haven't heard anyone with the accent yet and that is another thing that really makes me feel at home so yeah although I was Born in Ipswich, and I love Ipswich, and I've gone to Ipswich Township, and even though I'm a Liverpool fan, this is my city, and like this is where I feel I belong, so I'm so excited to be there again. Also, the Liverpool team news is out for the Community Shield game, and they've gone completely full strength of what's fit, in my opinion. Also, there was a lot of rumours Liverpool might play like a 50% youngsters team and a 50% like first team players team I guess in both games but they haven't done that they've got full strength for this one so it'll be interesting to see who Liverpool do play tomorrow but Nunes isn't playing hopefully he doesn't come off the bench and he plays a full 90 tomorrow that would be really cool but we'll see but 15 minutes to Liverpool we're in the room now I've missed the first three minutes but I'll do a whole room tour after the game but yeah Community Shield's on so the Community Shield's finished Liverpool won 3-1 
Um, Salah scored a penalty, Trent scored a deflected goal, and then Darwin Nunes got his first goal at the end. So it was a great game. It's nice to see Liverpool beat Man City always, and it might be a sort of a, a good start to the season. Um, we're now going to head down and get some dinner at the little um, beef eater pub down, like just downstairs basically. Um, I will still do a room, room tour. I just haven't got around to it yet, but I will do one, I promise. So it's got a nice little underground, not underground, but undercover walkway from the perimeter into the pub, so that's always a bonus. When it's under those refills. So here's the room tour, because we're back from dinner now. Um, so you've got a little wardrobe and coat hangs and stuff, obviously, yeah. Your little hair dryer. Last time I vlogged here, I was like, well, not here, but in a primary room, I was like, there's something up there. It's extra pillows, for those who are wondering that didn't know. Hello, that's me. Um, <laughs> our desk has just got a bit of stuff on that we've bought. We've got a coat from the vending machine, because I don't like tea and coffee. I won a unicorn jigsaw puzzle in their Great Ormond Street charity raffle. So, I don't know what I'll do with that. If anyone who I know wants a unicorn jigsaw puzzle for anything, hit me up. You can have it. Um, but you did get a fan, which obviously last time we talked about is a good thing. But also, full length, almost full length. It cuts my head off a little bit if you look at it from my head height. But full length mirror, so you can... Check out my Pokemon tattoos and with their glory. Then you got like a window which has got let's get it out of the Not the most interesting view. It's like some office thing. Um and over there is quite a busy road, but you can't really hear it that much. It's like busy but slow. Then it's got like a little kind of like Shays lawns in the corner and then you see a double bed obviously like lights by the side also it's got usb plugs for your phone so that's a big plus then little picture all that fancy stuff it says please keep this closed because that can activate the alarm see we've got a towel rail and it has got a bath which we've spoken about before i hate something up hotel room and you don't get a bath, as well as a shower. Some people just want a bath. Hello again. So yeah, you've obviously got a toilet, and your bits and pieces. And if you want to bring a sofa brush, so we've bought some. Fun, wasn't it? So yeah, that's my room. Um, we just got back from dinner. It's like eight, nine o'clock. I'm just gonna chill, relax, and then I'll be going to bed. So I'll see you guys in the morning. So it's the next morning, I've just got out of the shower and got dressed and we're now going to go down and get some breakfast um, then we're going to head into Liverpool for the day, like have a little look around the city um, because I don't think Amy's really been around the city before so it'd be cool to show her some of the sort of cool things here and then obviously tonight we'll be going to Anfield towards Liverpool versus Strasbourg and I'm so excited, so excited, I can't honestly wait. Um, for my first experience in the home end. But like, honestly, sitting the away end at Anfield, hearing you never walk alone and not being able to join in, that's not what you want as a Liverpool fan. So yeah, today we put that right and I cannot wait. The weather's a little bit chillier today. So it's not as hot, but it's a bit windy. Just hoping it doesn't rain because it's like windy and cold. But as long as it doesn't rain, I'll be happy. I'd rather it be cold than like super hot. And my hair is gone all fluffy, which isn't what you want, but it's breakfast time, so I'm happy. You've got like a little toast machine and everything, if you want toast or croissants and stuff. This is some fruit, loads of fruit, cereals, or something simple, there's a coffee machine. So here 
here we have the Lava building, which is, if you sit on top, continue onto the A5036. There's the little bird. These birds are the ones that inspired the little, I think it's a crane on the Liverpool Press, but lots of people debate what it is, but there you go. The Liver building, it's one of the most famous things here. Um, and it's always cool to see it, because you see it so much on TV, but this is the, the one. Liverpool loves you at the church. Obviously for the LBGT community, but I love Liverpool as well. So we're in the car park now. Hi guys, I'm in the mirror. I didn't realise that. Um, Woke in the Liverpool. We're going to the one shopping centre. We should have a little look around Liverpool. We might jump on like a um, Liverpool City tour bus. Because like I say, Amy's only ever been to Anfield in Liverpool. She's never been to Liverpool except for going to Anfield. So it'd be cool to do like a City tour bus to show all the different stuff like the live building when she hasn't got to concentrate on driving and she can actually take it in and enjoy it. Because there's a lot of history in this city. This is about as happy as you guys will ever see me. Yeah. Until I get to Anfield later probably. But um, I just love this place. Everything about it. Up there. It's a little live bird on the one of my first times down the waterfront since they started the whole big regeneration project with like the new, new big improved museum and stuff. It's really nice. It's a London bus doing street food. How cool is that? Gosh, that's amazing. So we're hoping one of these like tour buses over here just sells tickets on the bus and then we'll go for a little ride around Liverpool and check it out. Open tour of us. Um, we haven't moved yet. Don't know when we set off, but it's a 50 minute tour of the whole city, so quite excited about that. And it'd be really nice for Amy because she's not really been around Liverpool much before. Like I say, last time we came, we just went to Anfield. We were in Liverpool maybe like four or five hours, so we didn't really venture far from Anfield. So it'd just be cool for her to see all the different places, like the museums and you know the lava building and stuff up close. And it'd be cool for me to vlog it as well. So. Just trying to enjoy the whole day, but the main event is obviously going to Anfield tonight. Paddy, who's a legend. Um, there was a guy, a guy called Clive as the driver, and they were both really like, helpful. Great tour guide. And it was nice, it wasn't like intense, it was like chill. And that's that's why I love Liverpool so much, because Scousers just enjoy everything. Like, they don't really stress too much, and they try and have fun with everything they do. They're always having a laugh, having a joke. It's just a vibe, and I absolutely love the place. Super cool, like Liverpool sign. Look at that. I'm gonna go get some food in Nando. Yes, it's there. I promise. Got the perfect table for Stranger Things fans. I feel like I spent ten percent of my whole life trying to get sauce out of these Nando's bottles. Oh, here we go. Not mind of a sign. Now I've had lunch. I'm gonna go play in the Lego store. It's the place to be. It's cool little diorama. 
Yeah. Then they got this big boy. Look at that. That is amazing. Look at this lot off display. How cool is that? They've got the Van Gogh set made up. I really want this. That's 150 quid. Look how cool that is, though. It's like spin some Van Gogh. Just painting Starry Night. They've got Spice Girls brickheads. I know these are different brickheads, but I think I'm going to get a sofa because it's £10 and I don't have a sofa. I've got this Queer Eye set. It's one of my favourite shows. I think it's quite cool. But it's £90. They look sick. Look at this massive Chewbacca. How amazing is that? That's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Keychains they've got. I'm really tempted to get a little Voldemort from Keys. They've got Sliver and Key Rings on there anyway. It's just so many options. But even just the brick ones are cool. They've got a giant Lego Friends as well. Giant Lego Friends character holding a little puppy. That's super cute. The shopping centre is called Liverpool One. So Everton called their store Everton Two. That's genius. That's what I'm doing though. They've got like loads of the shirts pre printed. How nice is that? Normally you have to wait around, but they've just got basically all the main players printed already. So, after spending like 15 quid in the Lego store and 200 quid in the Liverpool store, it's time to go back to the car. Then we're going to drive to the hotel, have like a little bit of a relax and a chill, and then we're going to head back out to go to Anfield for my first ever. Liverpool home game which I'm so excited about I can't even explain it it's so exciting that's our shopping done so I'm back in the Premier Inn now thought we'd go through my Liverpool football club shop haul I thought the bag said the club shop but it doesn't so I'm going to do it in the order it's in the bag I have the new Liverpool Nike 2020-2023 home shirt. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty. It reminds me of Istanbul. Um, it's got a Premier League patch. And I did get a name and number. Firmino on one. Fabinho on one. They're the only two I have with me, but we've had Suarez before. We've had Maxi Rodriguez. There's obviously like a big South American theme to the players I get on my jerseys. So this year, I obviously had to get Andy Robertson. <laughs> um, basically, Andy Robertson was the only one that was already printed, but Andy Robertson's also my girlfriend's favourite player, and he's like one of my favourite players. And every year, I almost buy an Andy Robertson shirt. So the fact there was one pre printed and I didn't have to wait, because they said it was about a half hour wait today, because obviously Liverpool play today, so the store was really super busy. Um, and there loads of people queuing up, because they all want a Darwin. Um, so yeah, I decided to get Andy Robertson, it's pre-printed, I didn't have to wait, why not? And I will be comparing this to a fake Liverpool shirt with Luis Diaz on the back, so I'll film that video, and obviously not today, because I'm away, but I'll film that up a video, will be on the channel in about a week's time. If you want to look at a fake DHgate shirt, there is a video um, on my channel already where I check out loads of fake Liverpool shirts and see if they're as good as the real thing. And to mention as well, it was the only one printed in a 3XL, but I have been struggling in other shops to find one with a nice badge on the legit shirts. I've been to a couple of sports directs and I've had like plucked badges. So let me know if that's the issue you've had. We have a FA Cup 2022 winner's hoodie. Was it Carabao Cup? Oh, it's Carabao Cup. I thought it was FA Cup. It's a Carabao Cup winner's hoodie. Um, with all the different years that Liverpool have won the, the Carabao Cup slash Carlin Cup slash Milk Cup slash League Cup. Um, but yeah, this was just reduced to twenty pounds, so I just thought for a nice, big, comfortable Liverpool hoodie to be handy, and especially if me and Amy both want a hoodie at the game later if it's cold, we've got options now, and we particularly have options because we bought two hoodies. I'm excited about this one. I feel like Jurgen. I haven't even put it on yet. Look at that. So it's like black, and then it's got this. I think they call it hyper red. Like a fluorescent sort of red um, accents, and then it's got a hood on. It's a Nike one. It's nice because it hasn't got any like stupid print on the back. Sometimes they have massive sponsor logos on the back. Um, so yeah, pick that up as well. And then obviously I've got the Ahsoka Tano brickheads that I showed you, and a Lego Voldemort keyring. So good shopping day. I'm now going to chill, um, just relax. It's, it's super hot and stuff, and I've eaten a lot today, so I just want to have a little chill. 
So I'm going to chill for a couple of hours at the hotel and then we're going to go to the game and watch my first ever Liverpool home game, which is super exciting. And like so far, I've had one of the best days of my life. I swear I'm having the best time right now. I just love it. I just love this place. Mate, it gives me like life. I did pick up today's programme as well, which has got a tribute to David Moores, who used to be Liverpool chairman on, so I think that's a really nice touch. But yeah, I picked up today's programme. I wasn't going to get one at the match, but I thought I might as well get one in the club shop because then I could read some of it before the match. Um, and I've seen some rumour websites online saying that Darwin Nunes is going to play even though he played yesterday and that Milner's going to play even though he played yesterday. That would be absolutely lit if that happened, so let's hope. Now in my new shirt and I'm en route to the stadium. It's five o'clock, so it's two and a half hours before kickoff. we're leaving. Um, we're going to see where we can park. There's loads of different car parks. We're going to try and get into the Stanley Park one. Um, which is supposed to be the best one, but if not, we'll park closer to the town and walk, which is why we've left ourselves loads of time. Because I don't know how busy or how difficult it actually is, because it's my first time going as a home fan to Anfield, so I'm super hyped. And I'll keep refreshing NFC Twitter, just like, who's playing? Who's playing? Who's playing? Who's playing? But I haven't seen yet. But hopefully some of the people was playing, but obviously with the community shield yesterday, so most of them won't, but that's cool. It'd be cool if they maybe just walked them out with a community shield though, like just walk the main team players around. That would be a nice touch, but we'll see. We'll be there soon, I'm so excited. Now walking up towards the stadium. It's getting very real and very exciting right now. I'll be at Anfield real soon. Super, super exciting. There's so many Liverpool fans around. It's like everywhere you look, these red shirts I love. There she is, Anfield. It looks kind of like a building site at the moment because they had another 7,000 seats with that big, just with that big metal roof trusses there. But look at that. I'm home, guys. I'm home. You can really see the height the new stand's going to have now. Like, it's huge. It's actually ridiculous. Like, it's almost the same size as the main stand, which is mad. So we've been stopped outside just where the coach is about to come in. So, I'll be home in a second. So, it's only pre season. We are massive. All these people waiting for the coaches to come in. That's mad. Actually, mad. Great hearing Rush Graffiti as well. Interesting to see that stand there, look, because that's going to be as high as this one. So that shows you sort of the, the building that's going on there. So we are in Anfield, look. That's in that Crazy for a pre-season game, the three people. Oh, I 
a lot of that is caused by how hard it is to get tickets. Strasbourg just scored again, it's 2-0. Just my luck. Okay, so it's now 3-0 to Strasbourg. They're having a great time down there. Oh, there it's down the corner. 1-0 to Strasbourg. Well, it's not too bad. Back at the Premier Inn, I did get a half and half Strasbourg and Liverpool star scarf because it was my first home game. I thought it would be a really nice, um, just like little memento to have of the game, I guess. Um, yeah, it wasn't fun watching them lose 3 0, but honestly, I had the best time ever. Like, and for me, like singing You Never Walk Alone was like almost like an emotional moment because you see it so much on the TV. And as a fan that doesn't get to go to Liverpool games regular, it's really special when you're there the first time. And I think the 
I've been there twice in the away fans where you can't join in and be part of it. But like pff, the hands, like the hands, the hairs on the back of my arm were standing up. So yeah, it was amazing. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this little Liverpool vlog. I'm going to end it here because tomorrow I'm doing something a bit different, which will be a vlog as well. So if you want to see another day in the Liverpool area, subscribe right now and you won't miss it. But thank you all for watching. I've been Link. You've been one of my legends. I will see you real soon. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss what is coming up real soon.